All right, we're here with Coach Tillett. She's going to start with an opening statement and then we'll open it up to questions. Hi, thanks for being here. Um, obviously exciting to be here at Cameron. That's a huge opportunity for our women and, and our staff to coach in this environment, especially against Kara Lawson and her opening game, which everybody was excited about as well. Um, you know, credit to Duke. They're obviously trying to get some things going together, find their rhythm. Um, we were trying to do the same. You know, one of our big focus this year has to be defense and rebounding, and, and we're pretty frustrated, I think, with some of those things, but great teaching film for us. I mean, we're going to learn a lot from this game and uh, looking forward to how it prepares us for the rest of the non-conference and then our conference season. And yeah, that's that's it for the opening statement. It looked like you guys were trying to generate a lot of your offense just through um, backside uh, action, a lot of off-ball cuts. Um, was that on purpose? Was that trying to take advantage of something you saw of Duke, or was that just sort of how you want to run your offense? Yeah, good question. Um, obviously, this is a super unique scout because we've never seen Kara coach, so we're guessing, right? Um, you know, trying to figure out what she might do. In terms of us, I think we are really good offensively when we share it and when we move it. And uh, we've got a dynamic point guard in Day Day that can really find people in actions. So I'm glad you picked up on that. It's something we've been working on. Uh, we thought we could have been a little more patient with some of our stuff, make Duke guard a little bit longer than we did. And I then we think we might have had a little bit more success. Uh, but yes, part of the game plan was off ball actions, try to shoot a lot of threes, which we did not as successfully as we wanted. but. Uh, no, that was part of it. Hey, coach, can you just talk for a second? I mean, playing it today, it's the first game of, of the season and hopefully we'll have a lot more games for just the emotions of actually being able to play a basketball game when other things I haven't been able to play this year and, and be able to actually get to COVID through procedures to actually have a game play today, even though it wasn't the outcome that you were obviously hoping for. Thanks, Doug. You know, I think the last thing we just said to our team when we broke the huddle was, you know, we're grateful to be playing and not every team's getting to do this today. So kind of keeping that mindset, you know, some people asked me what was my opinion when they first gave the year back to everybody. And I was like, I 100 percent support this. We're standing in circles doing COVID tests in unusual environments and, you know, trying to ask these women to perform at a high level. So we're super grateful that we've been able to stay really healthy and, and compete. Um, I think this is such a unique year for everyone around the world and uh, anywhere we can find some joy, create some joy, we're going to do that. And I think our team did that in spurts today. So there's definitely some good. Uh, we've got to find some ways to put some, some things back to back. Was there anything Rebecca. specific from this game that you <clears throat> are really excited to take forward to the rest of the season that you think was a really good bright spot for the team? Yeah, I think a big bright spot for this team is, you know, they're going to fight. They're going to they're going to find a way to compete. And, and even when we got down, you could see them have spurts of, no, we're going to put some things together here. And um, today we just weren't able to put enough of them together back to back. But I think that's something that was a trademark of last year's team and that this team's carrying over. And this team has a little bit more maturity about the way they do it because they've done it together more. So I think that's probably the brightest spot from today. Rebecca, this is Debbie Taylor. Um, hi, and just want to say congratulations for taking over the helm of Longwood and the, and the really great job you're doing. I thought your kids played really well today. You guys play hard. Um, it looks like you're going to have a good year in your league. Um, tell us a little bit about your recruiting strategy and how you've gotten some of these really, really good players. Yeah. Hi, Debbie. So good to see you. <laughs> Hear from you. Um, so yeah, I think our recruiting strategy, you know, year one, we weren't able to bring much just the way our team was set up and that year too, we brought in seven and uh, we've been able to get some, some really talented players here from Virginia that we're excited about, but then also expand our reach. One of the things, you know, we have two people on staff right now from the Naval Academy, which was national recruiting. So we really think you can find somebody anywhere if you do all the work. And um, so we're really open to regional or, you know, even national recruiting. Um, I think so much of it, as you know, Debbie, from your time as a coach is, you know, what relationships do we build and who do we stay in contact with? Um, and then I think, you know, our women are about being empowered. And I think that draws people in to what we're trying to do here. Good luck the rest of the way. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Any final questions for Coach? 
All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.